what? Who are you? And what have you done with my hot logic? My name is Ma. My name is what? My name is My name is Ma. My name is what? Hello, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. All right, family. First and foremost, the reason I opened up with the the uh, my name is theme is this thing literally has no name. It's made by a company called Terrasado or Terrasada, and that's all it is. Now this, the Hot Logic, is made by Hot Logic, but it's called the Hot Logic Mini, and the larger ones are called the Hot Logic Family Size. And I think there's even a third one, but they have like a name or a nomenclature. This one does not. Now, the way I found out about this jewel, this impersonator, is I was going on uh, Amazon to find another hot logic since my second 12 volt hot logic crapped out on me after multiple uses. Nothing against the hot logic, just happened. I was going to take my hot logic family size and Frankenstein me a, a project, we'll say. And I had mentioned in a previous video that's still going to happen, but I want to reach out to Hot Logic and see if they will gift me another Hot Logic in order to promote their product because I really love it and I have never reached out to a continent before, but I'm interested in reaching out to Hot Logic. Now, with that being said, when I was scrolling for my second Hot Logic, I happened across this in my feed. And if you know anything about how Google and, and Amazon works, if you're looking for a particular item, it's going to throw all like items at you. And it threw this, and from now on we're calling this Mr. T, because I'm not sure if I'm butchering the name or not. So, they threw Mr. T at me. And when I saw it, I was like, whoa! I had never seen anything like this before. Now, let's, before we get into the meat of this thing, let's do some measurements. As y'all can see, this thing stands it towers above the hot logic. This thing uh, is like uh, 11, I think it's like five inches tall. It is, uh, oh, I got some numbers right here. It's 11 by eight by four. Four inches tall, uh, what is it, eight inches across and 11 inches across the front. It dwarfs the hot logic. So it should hold larger bowls, larger pots, uh, larger uh, plastic containers, uh, larger aluminum foil. Got a guy come by on his motorcycle, try to see what in the hell am I doing. But I'm out in the park and that's why I like to record. And a matter of fact, it might be a little windy out here today, a little noise from passing cars, but I love it. It's a beautiful day outside. I did not want to be stuck at home. So I came out to the park to record. Now, with that being said, back to the video. This Mr. T, the thing that really drew me to it was, ta-da, and you probably caught that in the intro. This thing has two hot plates. One hot plate is 12 volt. The other hot plate is 110. It plugs in the house. Now, one of my concerns is how thin this hot plate is. This hot plate feels kind of flimsy and it's paper, paper thin. If you look at the hot logic, the hot plate is twice as thick. Now, another thing that bothers me about the Mr. T, I can't find any data on this thing. There are no YouTube videos on it. There's no really numbers or parameters in the Amazon uh, feed. There's nothing in Google about it. I can't find anything about it. When you put it in, it gives you some town in France when you put in that Terrasada name. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. Uh, I found a couple of them being sold used on different websites, which is a problem if you're selling them used. 
and I know everybody's, I mean, everything gets sold. Some people say, I'm, and what really surprises me, people get rid of the big, big easy turkey fryer. I see this for sale all the time too. I just think sometimes people just don't know how to use it and uh, they don't use it enough, so they get frustrated with it. The second thing that concerns me is this bag that it's in. I said, okay, that's for shipping purposes. But once I looked at it, this thing is sewn on around this little hot plate. That's concerning to me. I'm sure this is some type of material. Like this one is made out of a uh, nylon material, the uh, Mr. T, and I'm assuming that the bag and perhaps the cover as well. That's one of the few things I could find out about it. This is made out of the hot logic is made out of uh, polyester and I'm assuming that's the covering but that's of no concern because the hot plate is not does not have a cloth covering over it so which brings me to my next concern we all know that the hot logic gets up to 165 degrees and maintains that throughout the cook however long you leave it on 165 degrees can this can Mr. T reach 165 degrees with this thin hot plate and this covering over it? I'm not sure if, if it were to get to 165 degrees, if that wouldn't be a concern, a danger concern. So, I'm not cooking anything with it today. I simply want to introduce y'all to this thing. And for the next month or so i'm going to be putting it through extensive testing but for filling this thing i bought one two years ago called an auto otto i do find some reviews on that thing online and after about the third use the hot plate cracked on me and that hot plate was just like this particular hot plate same thickness there was no covering over it and it didn't survive like the hot logic does it didn't take the rosy beat so i am really concerned about this family so like i said for the next 30 days or so if it lasts that long i'm going to be using both of these units i'm going to be using the 110 plug and i'll be using the 12 volt plug in the uh g and i will be using it on a daily basis and as soon as this thing either proves itself or disproves itself i'll be back to let y'all know so, all right family the only other thing we got to say about this i do like the little side pocket in the uh covering and that's one place that hot logic falls short actually in my hot logic that broke i took the case that that auto uh food warmer that i just mentioned i actually took the case from it and put my other hot plate in that case because that case had a uh utensil holder it had a place to put your fork and spoon on the top of the case I love that case and actually I'm probably gonna take this hot plate and put it in that case because this is my new hot logic. As far as this goes, it has a pocket on the side for your utensils. Uh, it has a hole here with the 12 volt hot plate. It comes apart right here and you actually take this and insert it through the hole in, in, the, uh, in the unit and then it comes out through the back. You don't and that's the only way to get that through because this is too bulky. On the hot logic, you simply stick it through the back if you want to take that hot plate out. And they have an opening in there that opens up in the hot in the uh, hot logic. You can see that it's just a slit that goes the whole height of the hot logic, and you can slip your cord in. That's something that these guys might want to take a look at to make it a little simpler. They don't have to have this cord that plugs and unplugs. All right, family. Two other things I'd like to mention before I close this video out. I have a video coming soon, like I mentioned, where I Frankenstein two hot 12 volt hot logics and it involves the hot logic family size case. Y'all stay tuned for that one. And uh, my other thing that I had to do, I want to test this thing extensively but I want to do it one unit at a time. So for probably starting today, I'm going to do the 12 volt uh, test. I'm going to put it in the Jeep. I'm going to put my container in of whatever uh, choice, my food, 
and we'll see how hot it gets it. I'm gonna shoot it with my radar gun to see what temperature this thing reaches. I'm gonna check it to make sure this paper, this covering, the cloth, whatever it is, polyester doesn't get too hot and that it doesn't get dangerous for it. So y'all tune back in. We got a lot of good material coming and don't forget to go over to the Red channel and check that one out. We're starting to drop videos over there as well for our RVing channel. And I'm also gonna be dropping a, matter of fact, I got a Jeep video coming out real soon too where you may have taken a glance at that cabinet that I pulled this out of. That is a unique story, family. So y'all go check out the other channel. That video for that cabinet is gonna drop in about a week. And I got one dropping here today when this one drops for uh, the, uh, oh, our trip involving some horses and a rodeo. All right, family, I've taken up enough of y'all time. Say hello to Mr. T. Say bye, Mr. T. And I'll see you in a future video. Y'all take care. Have a great day. It's your boy, Rosie. Peace.